A dog found wandering around the middle of Albuquerque with what appeared to be an axe wound to its head has a second life. Not only has she recovered, she has a new home tonight. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez has that from the Newsplex. Crystal? That's right, Dick. Today, Katie Bud did go home. Her new owner says the dog who fought to live will be spoiled rotten, and she deserves it. It's been a long road, huh? Yeah, good girl. A long road indeed. Katie Bug may look like any other dog at Animal Humane, but her story of survival runs deep. If you look closely, you can see the scar from her surgery. This is what Katie Bug looked like in June. A huge gash on the top of her head. Whatever hit her ripped through her muscles. The vets there guessed that she could have been hit by an axe. Don Glass with Animal Humane says the three-year-old Great Dane Pitbull mix was found by chance. She was found wandering underneath the Montano River Bridge with a towel wrapped under her head and she seemed to be in a daze. The Good Samaritans, now called Katie's heroes, rushed her to the Petroglyph Animal Hospital. She was then rushed into surgery, but it was still too early to know for sure if she would make a full recovery and if she did, would she trust humans again? They definitely think someone intentionally hit this dog on the top of her head. Katie. Good girl, Katie. And that's the sound Animal Humane wanted to hear. Months after the horrible attack, Katie Bug is just as playful as if the abuse never happened. And today, she met her new owner. Kirsten Clark didn't hear Katie Bug's story of survival until after she fell in love with her picture online. It's hard to think about her going through, but I know she's going to go to my house and be completely spoiled. And loved. Okay. And vets were worried that Katie Bug had brain damage, but there are no signs of that. The scar and a little droopy right eye are the only visible signs from the abuse, which Animal Humane says just gives her more character. Back to you. Okay, Crystal, Animal Humane says Katie Bug had a microchip when she was found, but the person it went back to claims she gave the dog away long before the attack, and she said she really didn't know who she gave the dog to.